What's going on, YouTube? Today we got the truth about LeBron and Kyrie's pathetic quest to reunite. Kyrie Irving has Scat been attack, failing it going. as of late and insinuating himself in the news cycle right in the middle of the NBA Finals. He isn't actually off. in the NBA Finals, mind you. In fact, he didn't even make the playoffs. No, check that. He didn't even make the play-in tournament. This, despite the fact his team, the Dallas Mavericks, traded for him to put themselves over the top and then the entire team systematically fell apart. None of that should come as a surprise to anyone though, as Kyrie has been on a John Wick-like scorched earth tour of destruction around various NBA franchises since leaving Cleveland. After he was done burning Boston and Brooklyn to the ground, it was time for him to resurrect his career and reputation in Dallas. I'm thinking I'm back. Unfortunately for old Mark Cuban, that decision did not pan out very well. I already Just know he recently, about to start Kyrie hating on LeBron and, and Kyrie, man. Media. To let us all know, you're already hating on Kyrie, but I'm just waiting for LeBron Kyrie. hate. Enough <laughs> is enough. Stop mentioning me on Twitter. All y'all fan bases, stop mentioning me right now, please. It is still the Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals. But don't actually stop, because one of the most delusional hypocrites in all of sports then let it leak that he has actually reached out to LeBron to see if LeBron would be willing to come to Dallas for a little three-way team-up with him and Luka, which is just so utterly rich and delusional. I mean, not to think LeBron would want to team up. If anyone would be getting hot under the collar at the prospect of a good old fashioned team up, it is certainly LeBron James. He showed his pension to NBA Yo, that clip when he did a little and, and this far, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and uh, join the Miami. They go over this over his then, head when so that ship was gone, sinking, man. it was time to join Kyrie in Cleveland and bring along Kevin Love. And once the ice was approaching that vessel, Iceberg, run ahead! LeBron charted his nearest banana boat to LA and his fellow Clutch Sports brethren Anthony Davis was close behind. It was then LeBron's bright idea to bring Russell Westbrook. Nah, yeah, this was, I don't know why Bron thought this is going to be good, like, ah, oh, man. I don't know. Lay GM is horrible. Eh. Board. So no, Kyrie is perfectly sane and rational in thinking LeBron wants to team up. In fact, LeBron was recently letting everyone know just how much he wanted to team up with Kyrie. He made that abundantly clear at the last trade deadline when the Lakers passed on Irving. Well, definitely disappointed. And instead allowed the Lakers GM to be the GM for once instead of entrusting the job to LeBron and his nah, yeah, high Ray GM basketball be. IQ. Yeah, All the Lakers did was make an improbable run to the playoffs over the last third of the season, all while LeBron missed 16 of the Lakers' final 24 games. Oh, and then made a run all the way to the Western Conference Finals, where they were within one possession games late in every fourth quarter of that series, only to have LeBron shoot them completely out of it. Regardless, I think we can all admit, maybe even LeBron, that Just Rob Polinka is a pretty good GM, which oh, likely means I don't know why he had to that much need like. With... Well, someone take the ball from this old... <laughs> Yo, bro, you you good, gay? Yeah. You, you you do it too much now. I ain't gonna lie. Pass the bro. LeBron is not imminent <laughs> in LA, the rock, and there yeah. really isn't a viable path to making that happen in Dallas, since you know LeBron is under contract with the Lakers at the moment. Oh, and the Mavericks have absolutely no assets whatsoever to trade for him. And flat Earth to Kyrie. You aren't even a member of the Dallas Mavericks yourself at the moment. He's a free agent currently. But a desired reunion for these two does make obvious sense. The only place Kyrie hasn't blown to pieces like some hilarious comic book villain is Cleveland when he was playing with LeBron. Conversely, LeBron, in typical LeBron fashion, has siphoned all of the credit for that 2016 Warrior series off of Kyrie. <laughs> you know the series <laughs> <laughs> All right, there made you the greatest player of all. 
Yo, he said that. He... What's that? <laughs> yes, that the, the one against crazy. the 73 win Warriors. Taking a closer look at that playoff run, does anyone realize that in 21 games that postseason, LeBron averaged 26.3 points per game, while Kyrie averaged 25.3 points per game? That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. How about this one? In the actual seven game final series against Golden State, LeBron averaged 29.7 points per game, while Irving averaged 27.1. That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. But the all-important Game 5 on the road at the Oracle, with the Cavs facing elimination down 3-1 in the series, Irving played arguably one of the best playoff games in recent memory, scoring 41 points with absolutely preposterous shooting splits of 71% from the field, 71% from the three-point line, and 100% from the free throw line. To repeat, that is 71 7 71 and 100 splits for 41 points in a road elimination game. But that game he five dumb. performance by Kyrie he was so dumb. absurd that LeBron even had to take notice. That was kind of special. Probably one of the greatest performances I've ever seen live. And LeBron doesn't typically give anyone but LeBron credit. And I want my damn respect too. As for game seven, while most are lost <laughs> celebrating that LeBron chase down block, which actually happened with a minute and 50 seconds remaining in the game, they generally lose sight of the fact that LeBron scored 27 points on nine of 24 shooting in that game, while Kyrie scored 26 points on 10 of 23 from the field. Oh, and of course, that tiny inconsequential matter of the fact that Kyrie Irving hit the game winning series clinching shot with under a minute to Not go. Devil really is in the details, I suppose. That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. Alas, <laughs> despite the fact these two are a drama-filled match made in heaven, it doesn't seem like <laughs> the reunion is written in the stars for next season. But I guess nah, as facts, the saying goes, you can long, never man. say never. Anything possible! Anything possible! That's one, the, that's one of my favorite clips of all time. I ain't gonna lie. In, in the NBA, one of my favorite clips, man. You were saying as a young and I see it there, I'm like, nah, he really, he really wanted the chip. He was really hype. You know what I'm saying? He really felt that anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? But nah, um, if y'all enjoyed, you know, to do share the video on y'all social media platforms, it'll help your boy out. Click on the last reaction, not the last reaction, the most recent reaction, because that's what we changed it to nowadays. It's the most recent reaction on your screen right now. Um. I'm out of here.